Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and continuing on the theme of old school unboxings, I just recently unboxed this little guy, the original iPod, and today we're gonna be unboxing the iPhone 3GS. This is the third gen iPhone in the series of iPhones, and here it is in all of its sealed original package glory. My one main concern though is, What's that? <laughs> I've been kind of into unboxing the phones that I never actually unboxed on YouTube. On June 19th, 2009 was when this phone was launched and I have this little video of me in the Apple store the day that it launched in San Francisco. So we're here at the Apple store and it's launch day and uh, I, I ordered my phone. I'm a little line. nervous though because I really don't know what to expect. Is it gonna be cracked? Is it gonna be shattered? Is this actually going to have been opened up? I mean, this was a long time ago. The eBay listing said that it was factory sealed, but do we believe it? I I don't know. Like this looks to be a little little wear and tear right there. So the original iOS on this little guy was 3.0 and they last stopped supporting it February 21st, 2014 and that was iOS version 6.1.6. This model came in 8, 16, and 32. Even until fairly recently, 32 gigs is the least amount that you were able to get in a current iPhone. And that was the most back then. Crazy! Okay, it really hurts to look at this package knowing how long it has stayed sealed and what a sweet, sweet moment it's gonna be. 2009. Let's do this. Oh my. Just... Uh, it hurts so bad. Wow. This is so old. It's old and no one has opened it. I don't know why. So a few of the main selling points for the upgrade was a video camera, voice control, and a digital compass. To be honest with you, I had to look it up because I didn't remember. Is it gonna be broken? I've opened a lot of Apple products before and this is not the handiwork of an original boxed, unboxed iPhone. I just want to tell you, they would never, ever, ever do this. This is all scuffed up. These people are liars. Apple would have never done this, ever. This is, this is a sham. This is a sham. Like, I just can't believe that Apple would put something on like this. It doesn't, it like hardly even matches up. Look, and this, it's like, Look at this. Yeah, that's something Apple would never do. So I think I got shystered. Like, and what was that that was rattling around? This seems to be all there though. It was sealed very well. And I clearly don't remember unboxing my 3GS. I just know that that's something that I don't think Apple would have done. They usually have perfectly applied plastics. Everything is like to the T. I feel cheated and lied to. We've got our original stickers though, which is nice. This still says 3GS, so that's something. So here's our brochure. It smells old. Like this looks like it has fingerprints on it and they're not mine. I don't know what to think. Anyway, let's take a look at this brochure. If there's something that you would like to read, just hit pause and then play again. Look at that. So cool. Well, I'm gonna put this stuff all back in here because, well, maybe I'll sell it to somebody else. Hey, this definitely hasn't been opened because this is something that's very hard to reproduce is this exact plastic. It has the apple feel to it. But this one right here, what happened? He, like this is, maybe this is what I thought I heard flying around. Do you guys remember where this was? This tiny little SIM card remover, I'm pretty sure, it used to be in here. What's this say? That's something. Listen responsibly, drive safely, read safety information, check local laws before use. Interesting. The memories are flooding back. Plugging it in. Take a good look. Okay, so those smudges are mine, but basically this entire thing was pretty flawless. Is it even gonna, if it doesn't start up, that's gonna be such a disappointment. I definitely see 
something happening? Oh my God, it's starting up, it's starting up, it's starting up! So maybe we let it charge a little bit and then I'll come back and give you guys an update. Okay, this thing's been charging for a while. The back doesn't feel hot to the touch, but like it feels a little bit warmer than it did previously. Like it's not warm. There was a lot of issues with the 3GS of the back becoming a little bit too warm where the battery is. I don't think I ever had that problem, but I do remember there were a bunch of issues like that. Thankfully, I didn't have it. No service, yeah, no kidding. There it is. Oh gosh, look at that. Unlock. It's funny, it's not even picking up my 5G wireless signal. <laughs> Able to join network. Restore from iCloud. Set up as a new phone. And clearly, I'm setting it up as a new phone. May take a few minutes to create your new Apple ID. Okay, so apparently it's letting me create an Apple ID. So I guess it worked. Um, I'm gonna not use iCloud. So I'm pretty sure there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna be able to make a phone call because FaceTime, FaceTime audio calls wasn't a thing. Look at this home button. Ah, <gasps> brings up your search that, oh my goodness, my most recent apps. Let's peep this old school YouTube button. And this was back in the day when YouTube, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's not, like not even working. Like these are the featured videos, nothing is there. It doesn't even work. Search, let's see if search works. Doesn't work at all, nothing works. Here's the camera, there's no front facing camera, photo stream. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of, like this is how we used to take selfies. Like I used to just hope that it was in focus. Wow, it's so slow. So there's definitely a little bit of lag. You guys can see it's not as smooth as it is currently because hey, technology changes. <laughs> this was only a three megapixel camera, which is pretty, pretty crazy. It still took pretty decent photos. Let's see, oh my gosh, is it, it's so slow. I'm tapping and nothing's happening. There's the Apple campus. It took us right there. That's what the old school maps look like. Do any of you guys actually remember this phone? Do some of you still have this phone? I'm curious to see what point in life you guys started getting iPhones. Loading the Apple store. I mean, is anything even gonna happen? Oh, look at this, new and noteworthy. Will I even be able to download these? I did not know that Katy Perry even had a music video out. Wow, this is great. Well, let's see if we can download an app. Would you like to get your free copy of iBooks now? I'm okay, thank you. Let's see if we can install Spotify. Holy moly, it's downloading. Wait, the Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes store iTunes, let's see. I feel like I'm doing some sort of like surgical procedure right now and I'm just setting up an old iPhone. I don't ever use iTunes anymore. Okay, that's it, it should work, it should work. I think it's gonna work. This application requires iOS 8.0 or later. You must update the iOS 8 to download and use this application. <laughs> I just wanted to use Spotify on my old baby boy phone. Well then how am I even gonna do anything? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Like who thought this was a good idea? Me? Anyway, well this is what our calendar used to look like. Old school calendar. It's a, it's a useless device. I mean, here's the weather. I could use it to, to see the weather, I guess. Some people have, you know, crazy collections of, of things. This is something that I choose to collect. I guess that's really it. I'm gonna find a very, very nice home for this on my Apple shelf over there of old iPhones and old gadgets. I'm still trying to find an old school original iPhone. I mean, I have one which is in pretty good condition, but I haven't been able to start it up. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I really, really, really wanna find one that is in mint condition and it hasn't been opened, but they're very, very hard to find because most of the ones that I've found are not the original first generation ones. They're the second gen and some of the ones that are first gen are like $20,000 and at that rate, I might as well buy myself a new car because that's just absurd or maybe buy the phone and then put some freaking wheels on and say, here's the Apple car. So now I wanna do a little comparison and show you guys what this phone looks like compared to the original iPhone, to the new iPhone and to one of the original iPods. So we've got a 3GS in comparison to the original, original iPhone. They are pretty much the same exact size. Not pretty much, they are. Button locations, very, very similar. 3.5 millimeter jack, power button, SIM card slots, all the same. 
The irony is that this is a jet black iPhone, essentially. Here we have the 7 Plus, so if we just kind of put these together and they're gonna be smudgy, I'm sorry. So here's the iPhone 7 Plus. This is the newest iPhone, and this is a 3GS, and it's basically jet black. So when they announced that catch something new, a jet black iPhone, it really wasn't new. They've, they've already done it. Now, if they come out with a jet white ceramic iPhone, let me tell you what, I will definitely be first in line for that one. So here's the front. Those buttons uh, are very, very similar. They're still a circle. But that's about it. Hopefully on the next version of the iPhone or not the next or the next next version if there's not an iPhone 7s or if there is a 7s or if it ends up being the 8 or if the 7s is just a small upgrade and then the 8 is actually a big upgrade and those are all out at the same time. Who knows? Rumor has it there won't be a button which I would be totally fine with. Something that's really cool on the Pixel phones which I've become quite a huge fan of is they have the fingerprint sensor on the back so if you're just holding your phone and you go like that you can unlock your phone. iOS 6.1 is now available for your iPhone phone. That's the latest version and it said it, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. Screenshot. Add contact. Create new contact. Oh, I'm adding myself as a contact. Justine. So, okay. I sent myself a message. It said it was delivered. There it is. Sent today. What about the emojis? What do emojis look like? There weren't emojis back then. All the little squares, the ones that don't work. Oh, you sweet baby. So to use emojis back in the day, you used to have to do all kinds of weird things. Download all these separate apps, Japanese keyboards, and then hit activate. It was quite the process. You guys don't know how well you have it, unless you do know how well you have it, then you're well aware. So here they are. This is the family. It's quite a strange little <laughs> tower. I had a much more nostalgic feel for this one because I feel like as I was unboxing both of these things, I was kind of feeling the same feeling that I felt when I originally had them. So when I first got this one, I was still in high school. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing with my life. I mean, does anybody ever actually really know what they're doing with their life? But in high school, you never really know and things are always extremely confusing. So this thing for me represented a time of extreme confusion. The 3GS on the other hand, I kind of already knew what I was doing. I was still making YouTube videos in 2009 and I was still pretty well established. Don't get me wrong, not that well established because I'm pretty sure I was basically homeless in Los Angeles. I was bouncing back and forth between San Francisco and LA. Not really sure where my place was. I knew that I was on the right track and it was something that I wanted to keep pursuing and I did because I'm still here today, still doing it. Guess what? Yeah, 2017. I just seen it. Yes, she's still alive. <laughs> but I will say that as you do go through life, not knowing what you're doing can sometimes be a gift because I feel like if I had a plan, especially in high school or even in college, I might not be doing what I'm doing today because a lot of people told me that what I was doing was crazy or stupid or silly and I should probably get a real job. And I'll tell you what, I work way harder at my not real job than I ever did working for somebody else at a real job. I've said it before, but making YouTube videos, especially for me because I still shoot, edit a lot of stuff myself, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of time, and right now I'm probably gonna stay up all night and edit this video so I can post it tomorrow morning for you guys. It is something that I truly love and I'm seriously, honestly, so passionate about technology and everything that surrounds it. I'm pretty sure that that's something that I've always known, judging by my senior picture that I took with my Apple computer. That's one thing that I will say that I've always stuck with is the things that I'm passionate about. I somehow managed to work that into a career and make that a part of my daily life. Video games, technology, traveling, creating fun content, making people laugh, hopefully making some people laugh, is now something that I get to do a lot and very often and I could not choose a better job. So it might be a little cheesy and a little sentimental, but I do have Apple to thank for a lot of that. Steve Jobs gave me that inspiration at a super young age. I think I was in sixth grade when I read my first book about Steve Jobs. Granted, Steve Jobs as a person and how he treated people sometimes might not be the best. But the thing that I looked up most to for Steve and the words that stuck with me from a very young age was think different because I already was thinking differently and I felt bad about it and I felt like I should be doing what everybody else was doing. But from that sixth grade age of doing a book report on Steve Jobs and nobody else having any idea who he was at that point and just thought I was some crazy computer girl. And at that young age, Steve, 
I will never forget the way that you changed my life, the way that you have changed many, many others, and a happy belated birthday to the one, the only Steve Jobs. And we wish that you were still here with us today because I would love to see the way that you would be pushing Apple and what direction and what would be happening right now because I feel like the whole landscape of everything could potentially be different. What if Steve was still here? <sighs> okay, that was a lot of rambling but I'll see you guys later. Thanks for listening and don't be afraid to go after something that you're passionate about because it's your life. You can essentially do what you want. And even after this crazy story that I just told you, I don't want you to think that any of this was easy because my goodness, it wasn't. It's been a long freaking road of ups and downs and successes and many, many failures, but you just don't quit. That's the real secret. Because if you don't quit, I mean, that's, like eventually it's gonna work out.